morning, everyone. I'm actually uh, walking into town today. It's a grocery run day. So I'm. Uh, if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. What I'm doing is I appreciate uh, you hitting the subscribe button, hit the no notification bell, and also don't forget to hit the like button. So what I'm doing is uh, weekly grocery shopping. And even though a taxi only costs two to two bucks, basically two to three dollars, I usually walk into town. I've done the, I've walked in from the beach, uh, but and it's almost the same amount of time walking through the roads here. So yeah, come with me. I'll take you along my typical grocery run and I'll take a taxi back because then I'll be loaded up it'll be hotter right now it's still cool because it's in the morning so as I'm walking into town here you know these streets here are kind of there's a major curve they're high center so I stick with the sidewalks this way so that's a little easier I have to walk with a lean but uh, I'm going to Mas Permenos today and I'm also going to the pharmacy butcher shop Mas Permenos is actually owned by Walmart, so uh, their prices are okay. The dollar has taken a little bit of a beating. Since right now it's around 535 colones to each dollar, so you don't get as much bang for the buck as it did last year or a year and a half ago. It was closer to 700, so it is what it is. There's actually a new project that's... Uh, under construction so there's plenty of opportunities here in real estate it's condominiums homes apartments so this is one of the rivers here i want to stop in and have breakfast I haven't had breakfast yet this morning and I haven't had Gallo Pinto. Gallo Pinto is basically the Costa Rican st staple for breakfast. Basic, it's uh, beans and rice with a couple herbs. So uh, I'm gonna stop in at a place I used to go to and do Gallo Pinto, it's Oscar Mario. So I'm um, looking forward to having my first Gallo Pinto and uh, also I brought my Walmart bag. They sell those bags, they're, they're no longer using plastics over here. So you got to bring your own bag, your own bag. And uh, it's basically a buck and a half. And it's time I forget in the buying the bag. So I didn't forget this time. You want to try authentic Costa Rican food? Right after this little bridge here is a restaurant called Rusticos. It's a buffet style, but it's good. I got your pinto breakfast, the rice and uh, beans, some chili in there. I got two eggs, some bacon, a little sour cream goes good with the pinto and an iced tea. So right across the street here from the gym, and so I'm gonna have my breakfast and then proceed my way into town. So this meal here is about, let's say it's 4,000 colones. That's almost seven bucks, so not bad. These I consider alternate transportation instead of walking. And these are basically electric, rechargeable electric scooters, little bikes, um, and they run, Play the music. They, they. This is the Hakka Walk. It's like a little mini shopping center that's uh, here. And basically, pretty cool place. Come and have dinner, especially on the weekends. 
quite a bit of gathering. Some good restaurants right here, back here is graffiti. And uh, yeah, so right now it's early morning, so it's kind of slow, but this is how I walk into town. Nice thing here too, you can have ATVs, uh, golf carts, even golf carts you can ride here in town. So yeah, plenty of transportation options. This is an ATV rental, motorcycle rental. You can go on adventure tours. I did that many years ago, uh, but I haven't done that in a while. One of the better restaurants here is Lemon Zest. Pricey, but very good. You won't regret it. The entrance to Mas Permenos right here at the center of Hako. And it's, uh, see the flower there, it's owned by Walmart. And it looks like the parking lot. So the parking's back there. But I'm gonna go first to the butcher shop. That way I can just grab a taxi from here I have some uh, perishables and it'd be easier to go to the butcher shop first than come here. So right here is one of my favorite ice creams. When I do have an ice cream, I come here to the Italian El Barco. And they painted this building here. It used to be all red, but now it's got a cool mural on it. And so yeah, this is a little tour of downtown Hako. There we go. See, I need some swim trunks. See, got sw See if we got swim trunks in here. So this is place is called Hako Fine Meats. They got natural bacon and uh, untreated, basically ribeye steaks. Very good. Very good meats here. A little pricey, but you kind of get what you pay for. Oh, the ribeye comes out to about 17,000 colones per kilo. The bacon is about 12,000 colones. So that makes the ribeye about $15 per pound and the bacon's a little less and that's before tax. So altogether for two kilos, I spent about 60 bucks. Now this is inside the Mas Permenos and they have a good selection of fruit and even um, hamburger meat. That's right by my hamburger meat. Also, it has just about everything that you could need. It's kind of a small Walmart with some local products and some products from the States. Just another spectacular sunset here from the balcony. Well, as another day comes to an end, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. On the next video, I'm going to be getting a little bit of dental work done. So we'll see you on the next video. Take care.